The Indian Ministry of Defence had issued a request for information to procure four landing platform docks for the Indian Navy, and the tender is limited to Indian shipyards, but Indian shipyards that have a proven design in collaboration with a foreign partner can also participate. Interestingly, Naval Group India has announced that it held a meeting with the chairman of Hindustan Shipyard Limited to prepare a long-standing partnership in large shipbuilding such as landing platform dock. Indonesia had been in discussions for acquiring a shore-based anti-ship variant of the BrahMos supersonic cruise missile from India, and as per latest reports, the deal can be signed by end of this year, that will make Indonesia the second export customer of BrahMos after the Philippines. The Indonesian Navy is also keen to procure a ship-based variant of the BrahMos missile, and a team from BrahMos Aerospace recently visited an Indonesian shipyard to study the possibility of fitting the BrahMos. The Chief of the Eastern Naval Command has reviewed the progress of various naval projects yesterday, and he was briefed on the Naval Tejas program, progress made on the design and development of twin-engine deck-based fighter by Aeronautical Development Agency, the indigenous helicopter design development production and repair activities by Hindustan Aeronautics. The light combat helicopter was seen in Indian Army livery for the first time, along with the Tejas naval prototype NP-5 that will be used as a technology demonstrator for the twin-engine deck-based fighter program. The DRDO had released a tender for the design development qualification certification and supply of main and nose wheel tires for Tejas Mark II fighter jets. Indian multinational tire manufacturing company MRF Tires has won the contract for 31.4 lakh rupees, under which it will supply of 50 units of airworthy main wheel tires and 10 units of airworthy nose wheel tires for the Tejas Mark II program. The DRDO had released a tender for 20 by 8 military qualified large area display for Tejas Mark II fighter jets and the Aden Technologies Private Limited has won the contract for 1.2 crore rupees, under which it will supply three units of large area display. The RDO's Young Scientist Laboratory had initiated a project for the development of tandem wing UAV that can be launched from pneumatic canisters, and was looking for a partner to build the tandem wing UAV and launcher. Private sector firm TISA Aerospace has emerged as the L1 bidder, that will build five units of tandem wing UAV powered by battery-based electric propulsion, and the pneumatic canisters is significant, as it can be operated from a vehicle, and also by a single-man portable launcher for battlefield surveillance. The Indian drone startup firm Aerial IQ has announced, that its a viral tethered drone has successfully completed an extended 18 hours endurance test at 42 degrees Celsius. It features 150 meter tethered cable and can be fitted with multiple payloads and transfers data securely through fiber optic. The Aviral Tethered Drone platform can be deployed from ground, vehicles and ships and can be used for continuous surveillance and monitoring for extended durations and is immune to counter drone systems and cyber security risks. Tato Advanced Systems Limited has developed the Rajak Extra Long Range Surveillance System, that will be tested by the Indian Army in August. It consists of a long-range continuous zoom type day camera, a laser range finder for analyzing the target's distance. The system will be mostly used by the artillery regiment, and it will have a 50 km detection range for vehicles, and a 40 km range for detecting humans. Oh, Mark, drop it.